Y'all got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Carmen Boo Big Boogie going in on stage after BM um, said she didn't like Carmen. I'm like, okay. Big Boogie Baby Mama's not happy with Carmen being in the picture. Carmen and Big Boogie definitely put on a show last night. Nick has this to say about people calling Dwayne Kaiser's dad. I'm about to say, how do you feel about people oh, calling D Bacon Kaiser's dad? I don't like it. Like, I do not like it at all. I all right, y'all, to be honest, we just got into this and I, I kind of don't want to get into it again. <laughs> um, Literally just reacted to that right before we got to this. So y'all make sure y'all check out that video. But what I am going to say is um, I feel like Neek need to kind of tighten up on. She ain't got to do nothing. However, if you don't want to keep dealing with this, I would tighten up because don't nobody want to keep dealing with this. Every time you turn around. Um, somebody saying something about King, how he being as a dad, how Dwayne is being as a dad. This is just like really problematic for no reason is how I feel. So um, I, if she wants to step away from the problematic part of this, I would just kind of do things differently. <laughs> Nika, grown woman, you do what it is that you want to do. But I'm just letting y'all know where I am with that. And we're going to keep it moving. Like my child has hands on and um helping more my the guy has a new girlfriend what you want to do what you want me to say who are thank you thank god about time <laughs> we got to react to the video she's beautiful too shout out to him you who are you <laughs> <laughs> So I am Whitney. Okay. And I'm not saying for the sake of content either. Cause fuck content. I'm just saying for the sake of his happiness. I think he's a great guy. Although he don't like some of the things I say. It's fine. I think that he's a great guy. I just wish that he, you know, kind of show everybody who Ma really is. And I think he has absolutely dove into that. So shout out to him. Hey. Ma's girlfriend <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> and that's it? Yeah. All right. So, Who are you? Um, I'm a rapper, YouTuber, um, so funny nigga, um, social media, but also your boyfriend. <laughs> so very last? New York. Yeah. Very New York, very demure. Yeah. Very... New York. Yeah. Very Brooklyn. Uh, like, not last but not least, though. You feel me? Last but not least at all. I guess. No drinking till I say so. Ty Taylor responded oh, to someone mad New that York. she posted a registry to her social media for her supporters. The link to Ty Taylor registry is down below. But the person comment, they said, what the F? You're so weird. You're a millionaire, but you're accepting things from people? I'm sending something because I care about the baby. I'm excited for the moment. Stop pocket watching and just do something out of the kindness of your heart. If you don't want to do it, keep it moving. So let me make something clear. I never once begged, asked, or demanded my fans, my supporters, anybody to purchase anything for my baby i was asked could i post my registry and always asked my registry been done and if you can see it's been stuff on there purchased already from family and friends so you trying to say like oh why am i accepting it girl who the fuck are you like if somebody feels in their heart that they want to purchase something for my baby. I'm not going to deny them of doing that. If Hello. somebody wants to make something for my baby, I'm not going to deny them of doing that. Cause also they looking at it as a way, well, I want to do this and they might want promotion out of it or whatever they want, or they might not want anything. They just want to do it because they just genuinely love the fact that I'm having a baby and they know this day baby too. Cause I'm going to be a sharing the baby with my audience. So it's just like, girl, they want to see the outfits that they bought, you know? Fuck up. So I have <laughs> seen a lot of okay. uh, mothers comment this. Um, I will be giving back because um, it was a lot of people that purchased me the same thing twice and three times and four times. So I will be giving back to a lot of first time moms. Essie's baby mother speaks out because she's tired of people asking her questions. What y'all think? Arma 
on, Essie's baby mother speaks out because she's tired of people asking her questions. They just be asking or wanting or demanding to know the wildest things. Like, well, just the wildest things. Y'all see, y'all see all up and down these comments and also on my YouTube is where it gets really wild. But y'all know what I'm talking about. It ain't, it ain't really towards the people that truly support me that are just here to ask a genuine question. Like, it's not that. I chose, I'm choosing not to say anything. Like, I don't have to say anything. DSG gave JC advice after he broke up with Bella. When you're in a relationship, you, you can't do certain stuff. When you're not in a relationship, you can do certain stuff. So it's different type of content. You feel me? So uh, she have, I, she? I was telling Seiko, I'm like, bro, you in your prime right now. Like, you flying out to Houston doing rounds. You feel me? Creating real content. You you getting views. You making money. Like, right now, it should be all about grinding, getting money, having fun with your friends, making sure your family's straight. Like, you supposed to use your young years as young years. Um, so, yeah, that's what I was telling him. And uh, I feel like this is a great decision for him. I feel like once he gets over this relationship, you're going to see Cinco a lot more. You're going to see Cinco thrive. You're going to see him drop more music. Yeah, he need to stop trying to fall in love every year. You're going to see him drop more content. You're going to see him collab with more people because he don't have to, to uh, worry about a young relationship and girls when girls is really young like you know they want all your attention that's how it be when you in your early 20s y'all know i'm a daddy you feel me i got whole different responsibilities now like i can't relate to what cinco got going on in no way shape or form right now but i can tell him from experience he needs to be single. He needs to create content he needs to go out and he need to be he need to be cracking everything moving he need to get that out of his system. So then when he finally get to that age where he ready to settle down, have kids and all of that, you know, he ain't, he ain't like a dog smelling ass. You feel me? He just ready to work. And it's not just about cracking shit. It's about making money. It's about grinding. It's about going every single day. It's about waking up and and editing it's about going to the studio every night and ha not having to leave the studio early because you gotta go do something with your girl or not being able to do this video or edit this video because your girl mad at you and this and that like you're supposed to be thinking 100 percent by about yourself at cinco's age also to say age the shay knows you probably this man probably will never ever ever be in another relationship <laughs> the things that the shade did online is irreversible <laughs> that's a whole nother topic but damn you know <laughs> damn the shade ddg don't have no faith in you my boy <laughs> the that's what i just heard <laughs> all right y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below i'm done with this video love y'all appreciate y'all hell yeah